now we switch over to South Africa, where a very small creature is endangered. We're talking about a tiny little frog. Its only habitat is on a small stretch of wetlands. What is so interesting about the Pickergill's reed frog, NT? Well, conservationists are hoping to turn its fate around because they say thanks to this frog, they can measure changes in the environment. The biologists have teamed up with the Johannesburg Zoo to try to save the species through a research and breeding program. This little fellow is less than three centimeters long. He's a Pickersgill's reed frog, an endangered species. Since last year, the Johannesburg Zoo has been breeding the rare amphibians to increase their numbers. Now some of them are being moved to their native habitat, 600 kilometers away in the coastal wetlands. Ian Duplessis is one of a team of researchers involved in the amphibian conservation project. Tonight, they're setting about 200 frogs free. Okay. We're going to bring that net in. We're going to move even deeper into the wetland, whereby we're going to put the net down and we're going to have to spread the pickers gills out, basically on a horizontal level, to ensure that they're equally spread throughout that area. The project is a collaboration between the zoo, another state organization, and a private NGO in South Africa. The only place in the world this species of frog lives is here in these wetlands near the Durban airport. Their habitat is very small, around 12 square kilometers. The scientists realized that noise and contaminated wastewater from the agricultural industry weigh on the wetlands. The future of the tiny frogs is also threatened by urban development in the nearby city, according to the researchers. The idea to launch the project came from scientist Adrian Armstrong. He and Jean Tarrant from the NGO have been involved in the frog project since 2017. We knew of some sites where the frog occurred and so we asked the Johannesburg Zoo to come and collect some and take them back to the zoo and breed them in captivity. Well, we don't actually know a lot about their life history. So what's really great about this project in particular with breeding this uh, Pickersgill's reed frog is learning a lot more about its biology, learning about its breeding behavior and learning about the things that it, it does in captivity, which we would like to think also happens in the wild. The same is true for other amphibians, about 7,000 worldwide. The scientists know very little about them and a growing number are endangered. The conservation project aims to shed more light on the habitats of amphibians, particularly frogs. It is so important that we maintain a good population of amphibians because they're also assisting us in numerous ways. One of the things is malaria is a big problem in South Africa as well as in other parts of, of the world, whereby frogs are actually eating mosquitoes. They're also helping with other um, controls like other insects whereby it can create economical problems in the agricultural field. It's believed that half the world's vertebrates have disappeared over the past 50 years. That's why the researchers in South Africa are doing all they can to prevent that from happening to this tiny frog and its habitat.